Hello everybody, it's Angus here, and today I'll be doing a uh, tutorial in After Effects. Some people, well, I have been working with After Effects for maybe a year and a half now or so. So, yeah. Seems pretty easy once you get the hang of it. If nobody knows what After Effects is or is new to it, After Effects is pretty much a here I'll show you guys. It's pretty much a no. Wait. Yeah. It's pretty much a oops, whatever. Oopsies. Okay, whatever. Go away. Okay, sorry. All it is is pretty much a um uh, is what you call it? You I feel a lot smart now. It's pretty much a editing software. Um, correction. It is pretty much a, uh, God damn it, I seriously do not remember. Oh, it's an animation program. There we go. You can build a lot of stuff in it, and if this doesn't load up, I might just fail it. Yeah, I'm just gonna, because, yeah. Sorry about this, guys. It's being retarded. There we go. Anyway, sorry about that, guys. Ah, no, go away. Go away. There we go. Anyway, pretty much it is what it is. It's an animation program. Pretty complicated for newcomers, like people who have no clue how to do it. Then I'll just pretty much show you guys how simple to make a 3D text. Every, I'll, every time you have to go to new composition, the duration I usually have 15 seconds. No, 10 seconds for now. Just because it's going to be a normal, just a little animated type of thing. Okay, first off is you can you can do it this two ways I think. Wait, no, just do this this way. Um, that I know of. Pretty much all you do is put in your text. Why is this okay? Right. Put in your text. Let's go that and then have it. Fix it where you want it, then click down here again so it can go away. And then, oops, hang on. Sorry, guys. Ah, there we go. And then, gaming. And then you can move it where you want it. Okay, now pretty much what you do is you can either, yeah, you pretty much have to go into the, the highlight that. No, wait, highlight this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right. Then you click on this this box. It's pretty much is a, adds changes it to a 3D layer, which pretty much makes you able to manipulate it and turn it into a 3D text. It might it does take a little bit to render through the entire like. Pretty much for it to format itself. There you go. And I'll do the same with this one. Oh, once it stops freezing. Hang on. I think I decided it's gonna lock up on me. Oh no, there we go. So we're gonna do the same for the Exantus. It's quicker because it's already been done once, so it goes through the program way quicker. Now, now you see that? Pretty much all you do is click this drop-down arrow, go to, go to geometric options. Now, the bevel style is which way you want to, I think, lean or show out more. Like, watch. Bevel depth. I, I, I just do this for the hell of it. Add that. Put that to 10, and then the extrusion is that. See? So now it looks 3D. Well, correct, now it is 3D. You can add more to it, you can add less to it. You can make it super long. Like, see? You can make it super long. Pretty much, you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Do what you want to do. It's pretty much what it is. 
if you want it per se to like to maybe have it slide in and slide out with this hang on let me just let me just fix this here okay add this to 10 I just do put it to 10 because it makes it look better in my opinion and then add this to 178 see now it looks like it's up more you can alter this you can change it by clicking this thing and it, you can kind of look see you can even yeah And it, here's, hang on, here's, you see, here's proof that it's 3D. Right there, it's thick, it's thick. So you can pretty much change it however you want, do whatever the hell you want with it. Yeah, have it slide, have it slanted, like have it come up, whatever, whatever, like, for this way. But yeah, besides that, that's pretty much it. If you want to, if you don't like what you guys do, then you can hit Control Z. And then it'll back back it up for you. So yeah. And uh, for if you want it to have like slide in, slide out, like have it go like this, and then slowly slide in to that in like I don't know, let's say four seconds, four to five. Let's have five seconds. You'd have it with this. Open up your transform, transform tab. Close all the tabs that you have been in, but you don't need anymore so you don't get confused and for for moving it you want to click position click the little uh, clock here which will add a keyframe which is our, an important moment in time basically and if after that move it as you wish like like watch it doesn't have to be a lot of uh, it doesn't have to be a lot of keyframes for for just to move it one direction Pretty much all I need is one keyframe to move it, one, one, one to show where it was, and one to show where it wants to go, where you want it to go. Now, I think I did this back, no, yeah, I did this backwards, anyway. But look, pretty much I have it, I have it now where it's going out and in, or going out. And then this one I could have do something too. Here guys, I'll show, I'll show you guys an example of uh, mine. Hang on, let me just wait. No, go into my D drive. Yes, haha, they're funny guys. If anybody hears that. Now, this is where all my videos and stuff are. So, here's my YouTube. Here's my intro. Ah, now Windows Media don't like me. Uh, damn it, Windows. Damn it, Windows Media. Oh wait, I think. Wait, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you guys can see that, but let's see, try this again. Damn it. Well, it's being, it's, it doesn't like me today. Open with, let's go, let's do a movie maker for now. So, watch guys. This is what I did for After, in, in After Effects. And that's it. Simple. It's simple, it works, Sharp Essentials, it, it's simple, it works, and it works. You can add any background you want, it doesn't matter what, well, it doesn't matter what you add, what you add, you can add, you can add like a million things to this, but the longer you do, longer you have it, the longer the video, the, the clip is, the longer time it'll take to render it out, and if you guys don't know how to render it out, go to... You have to click on this, go File, Export, Add to Render Queue, and then leave. If you have any audio, you'll have to go into um, where it says Output Module, click that and add and open up Audio Output, which will add, which will add um to add audio, which will add the audio that you took. Because if you don't, you'll just have a, a a silent thing. To Output. I'll put where you want to put it and what it is. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, go into here again. And the format is up here. You can change the format to whatever the hell you want. In my opinion, I would go with the MPEG-4. Or, no, in the Windows Media. Because Windows Media, it works for me. Um, I'll put, put your file name that what you want it in. 
whatever. Let's go, uh, YouTube example. Yeah. And then you hit save. Wait, yeah, save. I'll just go put this as a, as a multimedia. Okay, okay. And then hit render. And then it's, it has, what time it's about? The length, 9 seconds and 29 frames. This is frames, this is seconds, minutes, and hours. Um, besides that, the elapsed time is how much time has gone by. Estimated time remaining is how much it has done. Estimated time remaining is how much time you have left till it will be done. But don't worry, if you have a good computer, it should go by fairly quickly. If not, then you might want to... And it will take some time. But yeah. See, it slowly, it slowly goes a couple times. It'll, it'll eventually go through the whole thing. But I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to have it go through the whole time because it'll take too long. But, yeah. This is, that's how to pretty much make a simple, how to make 3D text. 3D text and, uh... Yeah. It, oh, also, if you if you if you click on the renderer, it will it does have to be ray traced 3D. It probably will be in classic 3D, so you're gonna have to change that. How you just change it is click on the renderer, which is this thing up here. Click it, and then you should say render, and then it should be in classic. Then just put it to ray trace. Hit OK, and it should be done. But yeah, that's pretty. That's how. This is how you make 3D text. Add a, add a slide effect to it and render it out. Thank you. This is Exanges Gaming. Peace out, people.